What's going on guys? Got another ammo box build for y'all. Y'all have asked me in the past builds um, how to explain everything for y'all. As far as hooking the amp to the radio, as far as supplying power to the amp and the radio through a switch panel, what batteries to choose, how long is it going to last, do you really need everything that I buy, which you don't. You only need an amp and speakers, that's all you need. So I'm going to go over that and everything. I'm going to do a whole series on everything that you need to know. So the first thing we're going to start with, or the main point of this video is going to be choosing your parts and what you need and what you really don't need and how to get started. All right, so this time what I'm gonna be building in is uh, another ammo can, obviously, but it's like a 50 cal, but like two or three stacked on the top of each other. I really don't know what it is. Bought it at a pawn shop for like 15 bucks. I'll, uh, there's a link in the description. You can still buy this. It's like $27, but uh, this is what we do. And the first thing I like to start with is choosing a speaker. You can go on Amazon, type in marine speakers, pick what you like. But you really need to know your dimensions first. So pick a box that you like, find the dimensions, and see what you're going to be able to find to work with. So I found my marine speakers. I went to the manufacturer's website, got the cutout diameter and the overall diameter. So if you go on Word, and I'll show you how to do this. If you go on Word, make a circle with the inner diameter, which is your cutout, and the outer diameter. So you know where to place everything on the ammo box. And uh, I'm doing four speakers in this build, so I'm having two like this and two like this. And you also need to know the depth of the speaker, so you can place one like on this side, this speaker's on this side, on the other side, the speaker's on this side, so they're not interfering with each other. So that's how you do that. So the next thing you want to choose is your radio and amp. And you really don't need to go with the radio, you can do just an amp, that's up to you. So I'm going to give you your options that you can do. You can have a radio, just the radio, and it's not going to be as loud unless you go with an amp to go with it. Or you can go with just an amp, and it'll be loud because it's an amp powering the speakers. So, and here's another thing. I'm going with two two-channel amps, and I'm not going with four speakers. The reason why I'm going with two separate amps is so I can turn off the rear speakers. If you're not worried about turning off the rear speakers, you can buy a four-channel amp for $43. One of these two-channel amps costs $40. So... Um, you can save money here and there. These speakers are 150 bucks that I'm using. You can use uh, cheap pile speakers. They're $20 a pair. So it's all up to you on what you want to do. Another reason why I love these amps is because they come with a gain knob. They come with an aux port. They come with a bag for the aux port to keep your phone and keep it dry. Now, as far as this pile radio, I do not like it. It only has one set of RCA outputs, and we'll get to this. I guess we'll go ahead and get to it now. Um, that's another thing you need to watch out for, is whenever you buy a radio, you need to connect this to the amp. So this is these are female connectors, and these are female connectors. Well, you can't simply just butt them up. Okay, that's not going to work, which it will, but you got to buy some other stuff to go with it. So if you're going with a single four-channel amp, you can take these little uh, male-to-male RCA connectors, plug them in, and then you can go ahead and plug them in there. Now, the reason why it's like that is because these are made to go in a boat and you're going to have like, an, you know, you're going to have a long RCA wire running to wherever the amp's going to be. So that's the reason why they're like that. But we're in a tight space. So we don't need any long wires. Now, if you're going with two amps, which you're going to need, actually, I need to keep this, which you're going to need, and I have two of them here, you need a, a RCA to dual RCA, preferably a male to dual male. This is a female to dual male. So I have to use these little connectors. And then you'll have that. You have one channel going into two channels and you have two separate amps. And you want it short. You want it short because you're going to be in a tight space. You're going to have wires everywhere. It's going to get on your nerves. Now, next thing you're going to need, if you do go with the radio, get an antenna. Um, you need one because it's not going to... I've taken an antenna off just to see if you really need one. And yes, you're going to need one. This is what you need. rock band <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know where i'm gonna mount this one at but it's rubber it's marine oh well if it if something hits it it ain't gonna hurt it too bad now if you're going with just an amp and you're not even touching a radio um they do make paul uh amps that have bluetooth built in so you can do that as well and save you 50 to 80 bucks whatever radio you choose you can save that and spend it back on the amp a four channel amp with a uh, bluetooth is like i think 80 bucks 74 dollars so you could easily do that in Definitely save some money there if that's what you're going for. Now, let's get to let's get to the switch panels. I'm going to have radio in front amp, uh, rear amp, and I don't like having the USB stay on. So that's going to be on a separate switch right there. Now, actually, I switched this out, but if you go to the link in the description, there's a whole bunch of options of these that you can choose from. If you end up needing more switches, less switches, 
Um, this is just called a, a marine switch panel. You type that on Amazon, you'll find anything you need and everything that you want to go with it. This one didn't come with a voltage meter, so I ended up having to uh, pop a voltage meter in there, and all it is is in the middle, it shows the voltage. All it was was, I had to upgrade it. All it was was it didn't have the voltage meter, so I ended up upgrading that. Now, let's get to the next thing is the wire that you're going to need. A lot of people ask me what size wire or how much wire. You really don't need a lot of wire because you're in a tight space. And you really don't even need speaker wire because these amps are going to be right by the speakers. And in the box is another six inches of wire. So you got about a foot of wire. And this ammo can is only a foot long. So you got plenty of wires that come with the amp already. Now, the power wire on this switch panel is 14 gauge wire. This is only three switches and two accessories at the top. So... I only bought 14 gauge wire because that's what I need. Now, if you go with a six panel or eight panel switch panel, I don't know if it's going to go up to 12 or go up. If it goes down to 12, which is thicker wire, I don't know if it's going to go down to 10. So, you know, you got to do your research on that. But I know this is 14 gauge wire. And uh, if you want to play it safe, if you do buy a bigger switch panel, go ahead and buy the 12 gauge wire just to play it safe because I couldn't tell you for sure. I think the last six. The six, the five panel switch that I have on my uh, six speaker ammo box, I think I ended up using 12 gauge wire just to play it safe. And also, this has a cigarette lighter. That is very important to charge these things professionally. And you don't even need the switch panel. You can really ha honestly have one switch turn everything on. This just makes it more nice if someone needs their phone charge or anything else that you need to plug up to. This is how I charge these ammo boxes. I take this, plug it in there, the ammo box starts charging. This connects to the triple charge connector right here. And then you just you have to you have to buy this separately. That's what this little small box here is for. So that's why it's important to have at least a cigarette lighter somewhere. If not, you can just hard wire it into the battery and then open up the lid and charge it. You don't need to. It just makes everything look a little bit more professional in my book. The last thing I always choose is the battery. This is a big battery, and so far I've been lucky three times picking a battery. Uh, the battery is always the last thing that I pick, and it's been this battery every time. Um, I had a small ammo box build, and this battery managed to fit in it. I had a big ammo box build, had plenty of room, and I did another small ammo box. This one is skinnier, but taller, so I really don't know where I'm going to be able to fit it. And uh, I'll leave a link to two different batteries you can buy. Once we do the build the build uh, video, we'll be able to see if this battery is going to be able to fit, but I'm going to somehow make it fit because I want my 20 amp hours. And that's another thing, too. Um... The battery's all how long you want it to last. If you go with a seven amp hour battery, you, full volume on four speakers, you might only get like four to six hours. That full volume is probably gonna give me six to eight hours. So, and that's with four speakers and a radio and two separate amps. So we'll see what goes on that. Now, the, another thing with these ammo boxes that a lot of people overlook, that's hollow, metal, clingy sound. So what you really want to get some is some sound deadening mats. You want uh, this like 20 bucks and it's definitely well worth the investment. It gives it more bass, sounds better, sounds more tight. It just doesn't have a hollow sound to, to it. It just makes, it, it doesn't, the speaker doesn't sound like it's in a metal box. That's definitely worth the investment. So I think, that, I believe that's it. If y'all have any questions, let me know. I'll leave everything in the description. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy this and uh, go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and build this thing pretty soon. Catch y'all later.